e ngā maunga kōrero o te motu tahuti mai anō rā. Tērā te patanga nui o ngā whakarere kētanga ki ngā ture kai whakapō wauau ki ngā Māori kua mauheretia mo te takahi iti noa nei i aua ture rā. He oi e harite mea he ngā wari noi ho te kemi rongo wā mō ngā raruraru ka hua ake i te whakamāngina arā i te tarutaru. A kuia tā tahuri tū moana i rako rako ake ai nōna i te tai tokerau. Nā, kia mōhia mai koutou he mea huna ngā kanohi o etahi i kōrero a miki atu ki aia kei patua, kei whakahāwe ati a rānei. E ki āna ko te taru kino te tipu nui rawa atu mo te mahi hereni ki te tai tokerau. Nā, te e rā ka tapaina ko te tai tokerau, te rohe pōtai o te taru kino ki a o te aroa. E nari kei muri i te rā hōnore, ko te rina kaha o te ture, te kōti me nā mahi hāmene e kō te te ana i te iwi. Toru te kautau te tai pakeke o tama, i tīma tai ia ki te momi taru kino i te wā, te kaumātahi noi ho tōna tamariki. I was smoking at quite chronically. You know, up five in the morning, it was my breakfast, it was everything. If I didn't have it, I just wasn't the same. Moody, you know, very violent. He me make ne tafito atama, ki tana mō hio ko te nuina o nga mahi tau hokohoko, me te toha toha i te taru kino, kei te mahia e nga kene. Yeah, I witness houses, you know, I've witnessed cows being shot, you know, farmers' cows, them in barns, you know, the barns being burnt down to the ground and all because of informants, say, the farmers informing the cops in there, eh? Farmers being stood over? Being stood over, probably living their life in fear, mate, for the, their family, you know. And, and not only that, their, their daily life. Mm. Nō reira he aorere kē tō te taru kino, ko te patu tanata me te taimiri nā pau here, ko te mahi a nā prihimana me nā kai whakatō, he whakatai tai kia ki te akōwai, ka tai atu tuatahi ki te hauhake. When you look at the statistics from around Nationally, from this whole like cannabis recovery operations, we are way above anyone, any other district in cannabis recovery. So we do know that up here they do grow a lot of plants. Ia tau tata ki te toru te kai mā rima mano nā tipu ka tīpako hia e nā prihimana. Ko te uara kai nā hia miriona tāra, nā rātau te whakai kia whaiatu mātau i a rātau. How serious is this? There's a potential for that to be really serious, you know. They're only little plants at the moment, but they'll grow. Um, and, you know, the more they grow, the more value they have, obviously. Um, there's around about 100 plants here, so they could yield a pretty significant sort of crop from that. Are you putting your life at risk? Is this still a dangerous job? It can be. Um, these guys will go to pretty significant lengths to uh, protect their investments. Um, you know, we get cyanide hooks and um, gin traps, um, you know. Um, they've been tripwires to firearms um, in plots in the past. I've been in the police 20 years and I've done years and years of drug operations and we do seem to, well up north it's, it's, it's a large Maori population anyway and we do seem to um, arrest and charge uh, quite a high proportion of Maori. Um, they seem to l live in these areas. Um, a lot of it's on Maori land. Um, so yeah, so there, there certainly is certainly higher proportion. Kei kai tāia ki te hiku o te ika, te rātona haura o te korowai. Ko Ricky Hooton me tana tira, nā kai hāpai i nā whāna o te tai tokerau, kua fiwa ki rahaki. If you would ask anybody in the street, uh, do they think uh, marijuana is uh, a problem in this community? Uh, I'm sure 99% of them will say it's not the marijuana, uh, it's, it's, it's the other drugs, it's a combination of all the multiple complex issues that our families have told us that they use marijuana as a, well, marijuana as a, uh, uh, an opportunity to uh, stun the hurt, the harm and some of the hopelessness that they feel. Um, they use it as a way of numbing it, they use it as a way to help uh, arise above their chronic mourning, their frustration, 
and the hopelessness that they feel. Ko te rono a te kāwana tana mo te taru kino he ture au kati me te mau here te huna erawaki ana i te nei taimiri ki te mau koe pupuri ana i te taru kino ka mau here tia koe. There is a myth, and the myth is is that if you go to prison, you're going to come out reform. Once our young men hop onto that conveyor belt, they're just cow fodder. They just go along the production line and they get processed, and there is no hope for them. Ko a matua mo hio a hone ki te tikana o te ra ahua. Ko i a nake te mātua o ana tamariki, ko a whā te kau tau tōna pakeke. Ka ati te kau mā whitu o ana tau i te wā i raweke tua tahi ia i te taru kino. Hei tāna kāri ia i paku mō hio ki nga hapa o te taru kino. I was out one day and I come home and the police were in my house and they'd found um, they'd found a little bit of cannabis oil on a spoon and they said that's manufacturing times one. They found a little bit of cannabis oil on a razor blade, they said that's manufacturing times two. They found a little bit of oil on a bowl, they said that's manufacturing times three. And they found a lot of caps, so they said that was possession to supply. I said, what's manufacturing mean? And they said, um, that's, that's 14 years maximum jail per charge. And I, I was just like really amazed. I was really. They said that I wouldn't be getting bail. They said I'll be going straight to jail. E nari e harano na prihi mana te he ko tara te mahi ha 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 i te ture norera ka hare tonu na mahi. They're just talking to the people here at the moment because it's um it's apparently grandmothers and and children. So obviously it's going to be a lot, lot more low key approach. And we'll have a cursory search to make sure there's no drugs or weapons that are hidden here by the target, which does happen. They, they will hide it at addresses like this, which they call their safe houses. Aha kua kāri i kitea i te nei wā, kei reira te nānara e hunāna. Kia hoki mai mātau a te roa nā ke o te rā. Mēnā kei te raru te hāpori o te tai tokerau ki nā mahi taru kino, e kore e aro i te koro matua o te hiku o te ika. So do you think that cannabis up north is a problem? Well, possibly, but again, that's the demographic thing. In some ways, if you ask me what is the most corrosive drug up here, it's definitely welfare. I mean, families get stuck on that for three generations. I've never heard anyone stuck on cannabis for three generations. Kua putai te koumihana roia tō rātou pūrono, kia whakarereke hia nga ture a te kōti. A nei e tahi o nga whakatau, kia whakatūhia te tahi kōti taimiri mo te huna mauhere, Kia hei te huna ka tahi anō ka taka ki te he, te haere ki te tahi whare tūroro, me te whakatau i te mana hāmene a nga prihimana. Mēnā ka whakatsinana hiana tono a te koumihana, ka kitea te heke o te tokomaha o te huna, e mauhere ana moa rātau hapa. He āhua e nga kau nui tiana e te tai toke rau. Incarcerating people for having marijuana strikes me as madness, really. They shouldn't. They want the root. prison should be full of people who are violent to their families and their children and other people. Did someone have any few joints? What happens when when uh, they're busted? Uh, the whole whānau go to prison. It's not just the person that's done the offending there. The tamariki, the mukapuna, uh, the partners, they all go to prison and their families. E nari e ai ki nga prihimana kua mau heretia ke nga whānau ki nga mahi tūkino. Kua hoki mai mātau ki tēnei whare anō, kua kitea te nānara i konei, ki te wāhi horo e kākahu, i kitea nga rauimi hei tunu i te pi me e tahi pū, e hunāna i tētahi o nga ruma moe. When you've got drugs and firearms mixed together, it, it, it's, it's the wrong type of mix for us. It comes hand in hand with pi these days, and that just basically just shows, that justifies the reason we do use ARS members to gain entry into some houses. Family members um, stick together. Um, they know sometimes what the uh, other family members are up to, but try to uh, choose to turn a blind eye. Um, but as you can see from the, the backyard, there's, there's young children at this address, which are going to feel the effects of these chemicals, without a doubt. Um, we will be dealing with those children ourselves and through through um, SIFs uh, to ensure that um, they are medically examined and there's no ongoing effects with them, because um, the family won't do that, but we will. You can't use poverty as, a, as, a, as an issue, it's, it, it's basically greed, it all boils down to greed. Once you make, if you make a little bit of money out of it, you want to make, make a bit more, and if you get away with it, you want to make a bit more. Kua pau te toru te kaumārima tau mai te wai whakatū hia te pire raweke taimiri. E nari kāre te pai tawhiti e kitea, nō reira ka noho tonu te taru kino hei whakararu i a tātau.